My name is Alexandra Cameron. I'm a senior technical manager at Unitaid, working in the strategy team. Um, so the core portfolio that I work on is the malaria portfolio, and I've been involved in the um, developing the investment opportunity around intermittent preventive treatment of infants uh, that we're going to talk about today. So I was involved in bringing this opportunity to the Unitaid Executive Board for endorsement, um, which they did do, and then uh, managing the call for proposals process and the grant development process that led to our recently signed grant, IPTI Plus, uh, with Population Services International. Um, so that's how I fit into the, the picture of IPTI Plus and, um, and how, it, how it came to be, essentially. It's being implemented by Population Services International, PSI, and with the research uh, being undertaken by the London School of Hygiene. Um, and really, with, with IPTI, it's an intervention that is already proven and the impact is already proven. So if it's implemented in its current form, we already know that IPTI can reduce malaria cases by about a third, by 30%. Uh, it reduces anemia by 20%. And it reduces all-cause hospitalization in infants by nearly a quarter. So it has a really significant impact on its own. That's the standard regimen of IPTI as it's recommended today. Uh, but what we're attempting to do in this project is to actually boost IPTI. That's why it's called IPTI Plus. And we're trying to enhance, enhance the delivery. Um, so right now, IPTI is only given at three points in the first year of life um, to really align with the immunization schedule. It's all been designed to align with the immunization schedule. But the protection that's offered um, by this, this drug regimen is really only a month. So it leaves a lot of months uh, of an infant's first year of life where they're unprotected uh, from malaria. Mm -hmm. And trying to enhance the delivery by adding additional doses of IPTI. Um, and also expanding the eligible age range from up to one year, which is what's currently recommended, to up to two years. And so whilst the current regimen already has a really strong impact, we're actually um, hoping to boost that even further by expanding the number of doses and by expanding the age range up to two years. And that's where we, we hope to see an even bigger impact um, on uh, not only on malaria cases, but also on uh, hospitalization and anemia as well in these very vulnerable infants. I've already spoken to the impact of the intervention, which is quite dramatic uh, when you think about it. And I would also emphasize that it's a very, very cost-effective way of preventing malaria. So in terms of your bang for your buck, it's, it's something that policymakers should really consider as being among the most cost-effective malaria interventions that they can do. Thank <laughs> you.